Hi guys, I've been asked a few questions about how I've been breeding my mealworms because I have not had to buy mealworms in about six months because I've been breeding them, but now since winter came, I don't have as many. And I'm also going to go over my crickets because I'm going to start trying to breed crickets. This is my cricket tank right now. It's just a... Um, Starlight container, and all you need to do is put your crickets in it, put some sort of gut load or food, vegetables, something, and some toilet paper rolls, or egg cartons if you got them, or whatever. And that's all you basically have to do to keep them. Um, I'm going to be putting in a little tray filled with Eco Earth, so... That way they can lay eggs in it and hopefully we'll be breeding them. Um, another thing that if you use a tank or a sterilite container, you should put um, packaging tape around it because they can actually hold on to the plastic and climb up it. As you can see, that guy's doing, but he can't get up anymore because of the um, packaging tape. So yeah, that's all. And also, just a quick reminder... People ask, how do you dust your crickets with me with calcium? I this is the bag that mine come in whenever I get them from PetSmart. I keep it and put them in this, put some calcium and shake it. Or you can just use a lunch bag. This is a really tiny plastic well paper bag. So that's just my quick overview on those. Next, these I believe are my beetles. Yep. These are my beetles right here and they're in there right there there's one and I need to change out their food so I'm gonna have to do that so yeah these are the beetles I just have them in some aspen bedding and they're all throughout this and that's my book that I'm reading <laughs> And this is where my mealworms are going to go once I get them. Because these are all the mealworms that I have left from my breeding. Because winter came and they stopped pupating. And these are the little bit of pupa that I do have left. And there's a beetle in there. So, very simple. These are two six-quart um, Starlight containers. This one's filled with oats. This one's filled with aspen. You can also fill this with oats. Um, I'm trying Aspen out. I might switch it to Oats. Don't know. But, um, all you do is buy, you can start with a hundred if you think that would work, but since I feed my mealworms to my geckos, I got a thousand. So you just put however many. I think that 500 is a really good start if you're feeding your reptiles while you're breeding. So you just dump them in. Whenever they pupa, which is these little alien life forms. You can't really see it too well. Focus camera. There it is. So that's a pupa. Once you see them do that, you take it out. Because otherwise the mealworms will eat it. And I just put them all in a little takeout container. And once they turn into beetles, scoop them out put them in another container. This one. And they will eventually lay eggs. So... And therefore, you start the whole process over again. It's not hard, because if, if you're feeding your geckos every day, then you will obviously come in to check to see if there's pupa. And the pupa normally come to the top anyway. So, yeah. That's really all I have to say. So, I'll do another update whenever my crickets and mealworms get here. Because I've ordered... Um, 250 crickets and a thousand mealworms, so, yeah.